Milling with high pressure coolant has many significant advantages. Most of the strategies for milling with low pressure or dry are really about managing heat. With softer metals, the material melts and sticks to the tool edge as buildup edge. As this buildup of material gets larger, it breaks off and shocks the tool and the workpiece. Unfortunately, this blunt, ragged buildup doesn't cut very well. It drags and smears before breaking off. That's why mild steel often has dull streaks where the insert is loaded and shiny streaks where it's clean. High pressure cooling controls the temperature at the cutting edge, completely eliminating buildup edge as a problem. The surface finish is also much better because high pressure coolant forces the coolant to the cutting edge, tremendously increasing the actual amount of lubrication between the tool and the work surface. The tooling must be designed for high pressure. The coolant must hit the cutting edge at the correct angle and point. There are a few end mill options. First, coolant holes in the end mill is an excellent solution if the size and configuration allows. A good holder is a necessity, a shrink fit or collet with a seal disc. It's also possible to use an end mill with grooves down the body of the tool. A really cheap and easy way to get started is to use a collet with a seal disc that is just one size too big with the o-ring removed. The resulting gap will maintain the force required to be successful. Nozzles aimed at the tool often do not work. As the tool penetrates the workpiece, coolant gets blocked. Milling speed in aluminum is limited by heat to the point where the aluminum melts and welds itself to the cutter. With high pressure coolant, there is no speed that can cause this to happen. The limits are now only spindle power, RPM, and tool rigidity. Exotics respond very well to much lower temperatures caused by forcing coolant to the tip of the tool. Results with titanium are spectacular. With high pressure coolant doesn't work harden and can often be cut twice as fast. Milling in canal with carbide tools is often three times faster with high pressure or at the same speed you can get many times the tool life. Slots or pockets used to be a problem because of the inevitable chip recutting, but with 1000 PSI through the tool, cutting at virtually any depth is no longer a challenge.